pull on the old ski gloves for day three in the high country of Victoria. Winter is still officially a few weeks away, but it's a nice chilly start to the day. And it's going to get way, way colder later on. A sudden change in weather will actually make things quite dangerous. The previous day, I found the rear end of the beater was sliding around a lot. I foolishly asked Jody for his advice. Gee, Mr. Euro and Juro dealer, I'm really hoping you can help me with the loose rear end I was experiencing yesterday. I think I can help. And cough. A seemingly easy river crossing, as long as you sweep around the deep section in the middle. The problem is a pile of rocks in the middle can easily put you into that deep section. And some of the bikes go dangerously close to becoming submarines. Some of these climbs are amazing. This one takes us up from the valley all the way to the top of the mountain range. This is where I find the stick pegs come in so handy. I can lock the legs in and just rest my hands on the handlebars. On multiple day rides like this, I still get some carpal tunnel syndrome at night and very sore fingers. But without the stick pegs, I would probably have to stop riding by midday. bits of snow already and we might have rain as well so everybody's rugging up it's getting a bit chilly all i can say no wonder people die up here if they aren't prepared for sudden weather changes there was a small blizzard at the summit and guys were stopping to warm their hands on the exhaust because they couldn't grip the handlebars anymore up the edge Visibility dropped to a few metres and there were some hairy moments on the hairpin corners. Often oncoming cars were in our lane because they couldn't see the road markers either. A bit chilly, Paul. With the drop in altitude, things slowly warm up again and feeling gradually returns to our frozen fingers. And so ends our third day. Warm showers and a hot meal have never been more welcome. Stay tuned for our fourth and final day, guys. Catch you soon.